Welcome to this tutorial on using Amuse, our powerful stable diffusion software. Today, I'll be walking you through a key feature, the model manager. This is where you can browse, install, and configure various stable diffusion models to optimize your workflow. When you first open the model manager tab, you'll notice a clean and organized layout. At the top, there's a search bar along with a series of filters. These let you quickly find the exact model you're looking for. You can filter by name, model type, model tags, or even the device the model supports, such as GPU, CPU, or something else. Additionally, there are checkboxes to narrow your search to installed models, online models, or templates. You can also sort the results by status or name in ascending or descending order. On the left side, you'll see a scrollable list of models. Each model entry displays a thumbnail, the name, the author, and the type of model. There are also indicators showing whether the model is installed or if it's for commercial use. When you click on a model, a detailed summary appears on the right side of the screen. Here you'll find a larger thumbnail along with important information about the model like its name, description, pipeline, sample size, and precision. The summary also outlines what type of image generation the model supports, such as text to image, image to image, in painting, and more. Beneath the summary, you also have a few key options. The settings button allows you to configure the model's name, choose the device it will run on, and select its memory mode. The advanced button reveals even more detailed settings like the model's pipeline, sample size, image generation types, and the installation paths. Most users won't need to tweak these advanced settings, but they're available if necessary. Next, we have the metadata tab where you can find additional information such as the author, website, description, and even direct download links. If at any point you want to uninstall or remove a model, there's buttons for that as well. You also have additional summary details like the required memory, disk space, license type, and repository links. At the bottom of the interface, you'll see a few useful buttons. There's a model count, which shows how many models are displayed, you also have options to import or export model templates. And lastly, there are buttons that allow you to change the layout of the model view between list view, grid view, or a grid with larger thumbnails. That covers the basics of the model manager in Amuse. Whether you're exploring new models or fine tuning your settings, this tool gives you everything you need to work with stable diffusion models efficiently. Thank you for watching, and in the next video, we'll dive deeper into some advanced features.